So you're wondering, if you become a driver, how will a training process work and who's gonna train you? on the planet that's you and i'm 50 plus and i'm chilling in my bunk area but i was answering some questions and fuzzy nuts good name by the way he says uh one of his comments was i think it's crazy that uh, a company would allow someone to train with only one year of experience and um, man you'd be surprised how many people uh, see it that way and you know I understand I get it I truly do um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd make a quick video before I uh, crash and I just ate so and I'm laying down so I'll probably be knocked out here before too long so I figured I'd give you guys a short video before I crash out and I'm going to talk to you about the mentoring phase okay and what I want to do is uh, is try to open your eyes to some things I, I don't necessarily mean I want to try to change your mind but I want to open your open your open your mind open your thought process for a minute and and uh and think about it. Um, I trained when I was with Swift. I trained, I, and I, I think I had to be. I think they wanted you to be nine months or something like that before you trained, and um, and then you had to take this little course. It was online, but you take this little course and kind of. Uh, it 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 had some questions in it. I gotta turn that thing off. I listen to blah 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 blah. That CB on. I had a freaking radio. Anyways, <clears throat> it has some questions in it that uh, um, you know you wasn't you wouldn't you wouldn't fail right or wrong. But it was you could tell it was one of those. It was designed to uh, find out who you were as a person. You know what I mean? Uh, so they try to. You choose whether or not you have the mental capacity, basically, to be a mentor. But it, it did teach you some things, and you know, on how to communicate and all that good stuff, right? <clears throat> and you know, you gotta have to be careful that you don't you don't follow uh, people on, especially on YouTube who come with those negative connotations that, you know, uh, you got to have 20 years experience, you know, you got to have reasonably, okay? Let's just say they think you should have five years of experience before you train somebody. I'm going to give you 20 years. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a million miler. You got to be a million miler before you can train, Okay. Would you, as a student, want somebody to train you who's a million miler or somebody who has nine months of experience and the person who's a million miler acts and behaves like a million miler? Now, you don't know how a million miler acts and behaves, generally speaking, because you're not in this industry and you haven't been around them long enough, but you're talking about some of the most negative people that you would want to come across. And, and they will uh, beat you down verbally if you do one thing wrong. They got they got a thousand stories about how they did it right. And that one time you did it wrong, so you got to be garbage because you ain't nothing in comparison to them. This is who 
the vast majority of them is. And they may get on here and start bad mouth me, but hey, I'm telling you what the, the facts are. If you don't want to be in that realm, I ask a million miler who wants to comment on what I just said, how many people want to listen to them? Here's here's a prime example. Prime example. So you're securing a load and right next to you at the same ship or somebody getting that same load and they're securing their load slightly different than you or yours. They'll get through it theirs and come over to you and say, how the hell do you expect that to ride down? You're not trying to drive that down the road, are you? Somebody else walk up to you and they say, you know, that's not a bad deal. Um, if you don't mind, let me ask you, if you were to throw a strap in this spot rather than that spot, it might kill two birds with one stone. Or if you go throw one side, go, go throw from left to right, and then a second strap go from right to left, uh, you'll have alternate pulls on that on that load and it'll kind of help it from twisting I've been there done that got the t-shirt man it, it, it kind of screwed me up doing it the way that you're doing it now I might want to check it you know in which way would you accept that person's point of view you follow what I'm saying you know I'm tired so I'm really not I may not be getting my point all the way across like I want to but but in one one guy is coming to you legitimately trying to help you and give you some knowledge. The other guy's a goddamn million mile asshole. It thinks that, that everything that's not done his way is done the wrong way. And I, again, I'm not saying every guy who got a million miles do that, but I'm telling you they are far in between who don't. You know, they just, they just seem like, they, say, they act like, uh, you know, they own this industry because they've been driving it for, you know, 10 years, 100,000 miles a year. Uh, you know, so they've been doing it for 10 years, so maybe 20 years, maybe they get 2 million miles. I've had million milers walk up to me and talk to me. I had one tell me one day, he walked up and he said, hey, uh, hope you don't mind, but I saw you. Uh, wrenching down your straps and uh, I'm going to tell you a story of a friend of mine was did his like that we both got pulled into a way station we both had the same loads but um, he ended up getting an out of service ticket for unsecured because DOT said he can't hold do his straps that way that way is faster um, but they said it was un, unsecured so if I was you, I might think about it. You know, I'm not telling you what to do, but let me show you another way. It's not quite as fast, but you might like it, and it'll keep you out of DLT trouble. So I said, sure, show me. And he showed me, and I've been doing it that same way ever since. Total different way to come at me. You know, and I wanted to hear him because he wasn't uh, coming at me like an asshole. The first guy coming at me, you know, I can't believe you. Blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't give a shit if he had a million miles. He couldn't teach me shit. I wouldn't want to get on his truck. He couldn't train me for a goddamn minute. But the other guy who came at me, he, was, he, he, he looked like he had some experience. He, he, he was been out there for a while. But that guy could have had nine months of experience. But because of the way he came at me, I know I could learn from him. I know I could he can teach me something. So, attitude, man. Attitude goes a long way, a long way. And I cannot tell you how many people have uh, uh, messaged me and said they got off their mentor's truck because this person was difficult to be with. You can be young and difficult. You can be young. When I say young, I meant uh, you know, young in the industry and difficult. 
but it's so difficult to find somebody who's been in the industry for a long time that's not. Man. Now, that being said, I don't want you anybody to take what I'm telling you the wrong way. That uh, uh, people who've been in the industry for a long time don't make good mentors. I'm not saying that. I'm saying don't discount what you can get uh, in, in a in a uh, in a fresh perspective. Okay, so a lot of these guys uh, that are are been driving for a year and they become mentors. They hadn't been long where you are. Okay, and they are whoa 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 way less likely to. Uh, come at you wrong for a mistake you made because they ain't too long made that same one. You know what I mean? They're not so detached from where you are that they will demean you for being where you're at. Okay? The next thing is it doesn't matter if you are have a one year of experience or if you're a million miler. If not every professional athlete makes a good coach, okay? Bottom line, that's a business of mine. I have a, a youth sports marketing business, and I and I deal with professional athletes that are that have become you know baseball coaches, and they suck at coaching. They may have made it to the professional league. You know, MLB. You know, same thing in basketball. These guys are professional basketball players. They've been in the NBA, but they can't. They're not good coaches. They're not good coaches because they, a, a good coach, whether he's coaching an athlete or coaching you how to drive, has to be able to take what they have in here and put it in your here. Not just perform it. Okay, they can drive two million miles without a wreck, but they can't teach you how to drive five feet without it because they don't know how to teach you. So it doesn't matter how many miles, how long somebody's been doing something. That doesn't mean that they are gonna be a good teacher. Okay. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos with some of my students, you'll see. At a, a guy with nine months teaching someone to perform this job, okay? And they're all successful. Every one of them. Still driving, still doing well. None of them had any, any accidents. And um, when I had a little hiccup showing the driver how to back, think outside the box. I went and purchased a drone and I used that drone to send it up, send it up, and then I would record the student backing into the to the spot, okay? And then we would watch, I would record it from the drone, and then we would watch it together, and we would talk about it, and the light bulb would come on because they could, they would know what they were thinking when they were in that position, but then can actually see the position that the truck was actually in in comparison to what they thought the truck was in now not saying a million miler wouldn't think that far but a million miler wouldn't think that far i mean they're not going to try to go that far they would rather get you off the truck and do something do something else man i ain't lying i'm telling you what the fact is okay but i hadn't been too long you know in your spot and i want to find a way to teach you okay um, I had a student that uh, that didn't do well while the truck when we got to the teaming part of it where uh, they would be sleeping while I'm driving then it's their turn to drive they was having a really tough time because they didn't sleep well while the truck was running so uh, we stopped doing it we just I just let him dry, ride and then I would drive for a few more hours and then we would shut down for a 10. Why? Because I I care more about the student and, 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 and I understand that they won't be teaming. 
they're going to be driving solo. So why send them through that if they can't handle that? It's a different mindset, okay? But if you are disconnected from the way other people may think, because, you know, your shit don't stink. Maybe you're not going to be a good mentor. I don't give a shit how many miles you've been driving, how many years you've been doing it. You understand? Um, you know, a bad dentist that's been a bad dentist for 20 years, you want him to work on your teeth? Hey, he been doing it for 20 years. I'm just trying to get you to see things a little bit different just because somebody, and this is the only industry that I know of that, you know, where the layman person, like, you know, the normal person is actually going to go into it where, you know, if you don't have 50 years of experience doing it, then you, then you ain't shit. You know, you still a rookie. Hey, this is the only industry to do that shit. I don't get it. I don't get it. If you was going to work, you know, as a uh, as a uh, a journeyman plumber, and then the master plumber put you with another journeyman to work with, you would have a problem with that. You wouldn't say, "Hey, I'm a journeyman. I should only be working with the master plumber." You that shit makes no sense. You wouldn't say that. But when it comes to driving a truck, all of a sudden, you nobody can train unless this person is, you know, the person that's training is is this ultra driver or some shit. This is driving a truck. Okay? That's all it is. And a lot of people, they try to make this job seem like it's just so freaking hard and you got to you know, be some master to drive a freaking truck. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard. It's, I don't understand why people make such a big deal out of it, but it, you know it is. It's fun, but I don't mean it's hard. Okay, you can do this. Okay, finally, and I'll say this, and I'll let you go. And I, I, I ain't gonna be bashing on no million miles. Okay, how much? How many miles? How much experience should a driver have to be able to train you? For three weeks. If I had 20 years of experience, how much experience can I give you in three weeks? What's the answer? I'm going to repeat the question and I'm going to give you the answer. If I got 20 years of experience, how many years of experience am I going to be able to give you in three weeks? I can't give you any more than three weeks. That's all we got. I'm not going to be able to teach you everything. The best thing that I can do for you in three weeks is teach you how to perform this job. That's it. And I don't have to have 20 years of experience to do that. All I have to have is the knowledge to do the job and the ability to teach you. The ability to train, to transfer what I have up here to what you got right there for the three weeks that I got you. And I'm not going to be able to give you 20 years of experience in three weeks best I can give you is three weeks of experience. Food for thought. Me and Miles, don't be mad at me. I'm just I'm just speaking the truth. Y'all got bad attitudes. Hmm. Till I see you again. Deliver undistracted. And here's your boop.